I'm now going to bring the, um, the green screen Pythagoras clip in and show you how to make that work. Um, this doesn't apply to everybody, but it is if you're using the Pythagoras green screen. So I need to open my project assets and select my Minecraft green screen. You're going to drag it on top of the one you already have. Now, Premiere recognizes this as having a solid color and it wants us to automatically video merge. I'm going to click no first because it's easy to do that ourselves. I'm going to close that project as aspect panel. What I'm going to do first is resize Pythagoras a little so that he is positioned sort of similarly to me. Now one problem is my feet are cut off and so maybe if I make his feet cut off, it might look like more like we're standing next to each other. The disadvantage of doing that is that he becomes a little more pixelated because it's not really a good idea to make um, objects bigger. But let's see what happens. So now since I want to see what he looks like here, I am going to right click on the clip in the timeline. So right click on the Pythagoras link in the timeline and you have to go up to video merge. Apply video merge. Hmm. 4K. Oh, there. It took a minute. But now you can see um, we're in the same picture together now. I can move him a little bit. Um, but you can see he's there. And I'm going to play this and you'll see the small motion I have. So do do do. So I've just said, hi, Pythagoras, and now he's looking at me. So I could leave this running the whole time. I'm not sure I made a really good decision on making him bigger. I think it would be a better decision for me to refilm again within Minecraft. But the timing of this is pretty good. I know you can't hear when I'm speaking, and I haven't yet put in when he's speaking. I'm going to pause here. Um, but you can see that his subtle movements do make him look like he's responding to what I'm saying. So um, I'm pretty happy with the way that filming turned out, and I don't think I really need to alter his movement much. You will see that he's longer than I am, so I have to cut his clip for sure. And maybe if I can find a clip of him walking away, or even walking on, I could put that in. But right now, I'm going to stop my playhead here, select the Pythagoras clip, and wonder why I don't have the scissors here. Since I don't have the scissors here, I'm not sure I can cut it. Let me try right clicking. Let's see, delete, delete, unlink, video merge, time stretch. It doesn't recognize it as a conventional video, and I presume that's why we're not seeing the scissors. Um, but since I don't have the scissors, I can use the other method of trimming a clip. And the other method of trimming a clip is placing your cursor to the right side, and you will see that it turns into a different icon, and that is the trimming icon. And I can basically bring that all the way back. And so I exit, he stays there. So I'll have to do something to get that back together. But right now, visually, it's looking OK. The timing's pretty good. You've learned another way to trim. So I'm going to wrap this one and come back and show you more about getting his voice in there. So that's all for this one. Thanks for your attention.